Hi, my name is Josh Vogel, uh, filming this issue of the SWAT Report video log. Uh, I'm just getting over a little bit of a head cold, so please excuse the nasal sound of my voice and my sinuses being clogged up. Um, also, there's a cat running around. Just That was like the perfect timing for that. Um, that's Margaret. She's going to put her butt hole in the camera angle. Um, anyway, she's my cat. She'll probably jump on me at some point, so don't be alarmed. Um, and there it is. Um, so in this issue of the video log, I wanted to talk about, I want to ask you what kind of jiu-jitsu you want and who do you want your jiu-jitsu to work against? Um, what happens sometimes is, uh, when people roll, when I roll, when anybody else rolls, at first you start to get um, you start to get in this, this pattern of like, like you get used to certain people who are real smooth and who roll very nice and, you know, it's very pleasant to roll with them. And that's awesome. They're people who have excellent technique and I love rolling with those people. Uh, and then as a contrast, you'll roll sometimes with people who seem like they just flip the fuck out when they're rolling and they just lose their minds and, um, use every ounce of aggression that they have. And then there's everything in between that spectrum. There's people who use a lot of energy and effort and strength. That's a cat fight. Yo, come on, I'm filming. Assholes. Um, there's a lot of people, and there's people who, you know, use a lot of strength, and uh, there's people who use a lot of explosion and move very quickly. Um, and these people can be very technical too. So it's not like strength means that there's no technique or explosion means that there's no technique. But I think what happens sometimes is people get used to, to you know, like if I roll with a blue belt and they're super explosive and they pass my guard, like I might get, um, I don't know, a little bit irritated at myself. Like what, you know, I'm a black belt. I should be able to handle this. And what will happen sometimes is people will start to make excuses. Well, oh, that guy's super explosive. Don't roll with him. Or that guy uses a lot of, that person uses a lot of strength. Don't roll with them. Or they only beat me because they use strength. And what happens is you start to get into this pattern of like being really selective about what, <sighs> fucking cats. Um, being really selective about what, what you accept on the mat. So like when you start to say that stuff to yourself, you're really just saying, I want my jujitsu to work against people who are only using smooth, relaxed technique. I only want my jujitsu to work against people who uh, are training the way that I want them to train. And that's not the way jiu-jitsu works. Jiu-jitsu has to work against people who are using strength and against people who are using explosion and people who are fast, small, big. Uh, <sighs> fast, small, big, um, have different attributes, flexible, whatever. Um, um, so my point is that you see this, you see this a lot when you read articles about like, um, you know, how to be 10 ways to be a good trading partner. Don't use explosiveness. Don't use speed. Don't use strength. Um, don't do this. Don't do that. And the more rules you put on people for training, uh, and the more excuses you make about why somebody was able to tap you or pass your guard or take your back or, or mount you or do whatever, or take you down. Um, the more you're, you're limiting what you want your jujitsu to be able to do. So my suggestion is, uh, to look at these things as challenges rather than as negative things. If somebody's strong, that's awesome. I want to train with strong people because I want my jiu-jitsu to work against strong people. If that person's explosive, 
that's awesome because I want my jiu-jitsu to be able to work against somebody who's freaking out, who's rolling around really fast, who's um, who's not just going to lay there. I don't want my jiu-jitsu. I don't want jiu-jitsu that only works against people who are letting me do stuff. I don't want jiu-jitsu that works only against people who are my size and weak and not going fast. I want jiu-jitsu that works against everybody. Um, my jiu-jitsu does not work against everybody, but that's what my goal is. I want it to work against the strong people, the explosive people, the technical people, the str the, the, the people who um, are younger than me. Um, so my suggestion is rather than looking at youth, explosiveness, strength, etc. as a negative, look at them as challenges and things that problems that you have to solve with your jiu-jitsu techniques. Um, now, there's a line that I try not to cross with that, and that line is injury. So if there's somebody who is explosive to the point where I feel like I'm going to get hurt going with them, those are the people that I try to stay away from. Um, those people usually have a track record of injuring other people. So if you see somebody who, you know, you know this person that has rolled with like five people who now all mysteriously have knee problems, well, you know, maybe that person is not somebody for you to roll with. And somebody should probably talk to that person too. Um, you can also feel who you're going to get hurt with, who's safe to go with, and who's not safe to go with, within reason. If somebody's going absolutely nuts and they're much, much bigger than you and um, maybe they have a track record for hurting people, there's no problem with not going with them. But if, if, you, if injury is not your main concern and you're simply... You think simply just like griping about people who use strength or people who are fast or whatever, that's not going to make your jiu-jitsu better. All that's going to do is make your jiu-jitsu work against people who aren't strong, aren't fast, aren't explosive. Um, so anyway, I hope that makes sense. Uh, sorry about the cats fighting in the background. Um, they're both assholes, but I love them anyway. All right, bye.